Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to recap my day trying to sell high interest loans to businesses. My name is Devron Karimov and for the past two years, I've been servicing business owners doing six to seven figures, helping them get merchant cash advances and business loans. We don't discuss lines of credit here. If you want that, go watch a different video, okay? Recently, my boy Thomas on Twitter called me the best. MCA salesperson in the industry. So that was nice of him. Okay, follow me on Twitter at Sweet Daddy Dev, Sweet Daddy D E V. Okay, before we begin, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications to get your two free stocks from Webull. Link down below when you deposit 100 bucks. So the first business owner was telling me about that the, the payback amount was too much for them. Here's the deal. It was fi it's fifty thousand dollars paying back seventy four thousand, and that was too much for them. Okay, I tried to explain to them that look, I know you're paying back twenty four thousand, but that's the best that we can do. Okay, pre COVID that that would be a good deal. Pre coronavirus that would be a good deal. So I circled back to the use of funds and explained to them that they would get much more in potential revenue off this capital. Than a measly twenty four thousand in interest, not to mention the tax write off, the sick tax write off you get with that. Okay, I never, I never use the tax write off thing as a benefit in taking the funds, but who knows? I might try it next time, and I'll update you guys on how it goes. Anyway, the merchant was hemming and hawing about the seventy, paying back seventy four on fifty, so and so I couldn't get it done. So typically. In these kind of situations, we have a better chance of lining up more capital. You know, say we got them fifty-five thousand instead of fifty, or stretching out the terms by a couple of weeks. But the payback amount, you know, the seventy-four thousand is usually based on the business and the business owner's credit. In which case, in this case, it was high. It's high risk. So I'll follow up and find out if this is something that they would consider and it's that's something they'll move forward on all right the next business owner we had was a business owner that had we had a really short-term approval on i'm talking I'm talking a matter of a few weeks okay the business owner didn't want to take the approval the merchant didn't want to take the approval so i counted it as a lost opportunity until i found out something came up in conversation that the Merchant actually has a second business account, business bank account, right? Which that actually led to a much better approval. So it's important to know if the business owner has a second bank account, okay? A business that does something like $20,000 a month, you know, they're probably not going to have a, 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 a better uh, second business bank account. But, you know, someone someone doing a couple, a couple hundred thousand dollars a month... It becomes much more important to find out about that second account. Or maybe, you know, they have a second business. A second business entity on a different EIN, right? So now that's two businesses that could get funded, okay? And and the last business owner we're going to talk about, uh, I don't know. It, you guys follow that? You know, if two different EINs uh, with two different revenue streams, we could fund both of them. Uh, the last business owner had... Uh, that we're gonna we're gonna talk about today had a lot of negative days like they were literally negative half of the month okay there's 20 business days in a month 20 bank days in a month this person this business owner was negative 10 out of those 20 days okay so if the person is negative in their bank account half of the time right they don't have any any money any money in their account half of the time how 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 is it how are they going to pay us back right my lenders typically want to pull their payments once a day or once a week you know how are they supposed to collect if it's going to be a coin flip every time whether or not the 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 lender gets the payment during that billing cycle right Obviously, obviously, it's it's a hypothetical situation, but just take it from if I'm just trying to give you the perspective of the lender, right? If you invested your money as a lender, 
you typically want to make sure that you're getting a, a return of your capital. The capital invested, you want to get a return on that capital. You want to get your capital back, right? So the negative days, uh, you know, try try to limit those negative days. I mean, a couple negative days a month, no big deal, you know? I mean, you know, you, you could have just forgot uh, that, the, that the account was going to go negative. You know, you had payroll coming out that week. You know, something, whatever whatever the case is. Just try to keep the negative days to a to a low. All right. So I mean I mean look, I'm just gonna say this one one other thing is that about that is that the the I know that business owners do the best that they can, right? When they're trying to when they're trying to, you know, run their business, grow their business. So I mean I mean it, it, it's understandable. Right? So that that's the end of the video. Uh get your two free stocks from Weeble when you deposit a Benji. And subscribe to the number one channel on Merchant Cash Advance. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.